Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update, December 4th, Sunday, around noontime, mountain time. You're looking at Semadu, which erupted explosively earlier today and caused massive pyroclastic flows to move down some valleys. So we have the full coverage coming up. As well as Greenland, ice sheet has now reached a new record, the most ice in over four decades. But the big story, back-to-back -back storm fronts bring snow and rain to the west. Keep calm, it's boom time. The first snow system dumped over 24 inches of snow on Thursday in the Sierra Nevada mountains, and there are feet of snow to come, according to the National Weather Service. The Sierra rain will turn to snow ahead of the second round of winter weather. And we have some northern California forecast for you. The timeline for Sunday's valley rain turning to snow. But activity is going to increase and the levels are going to drop as we go in through Sunday. So right now we've been seeing most of the snow up around 7,000 feet. And I'd say between 6,500 to 77,000 feet. Uh, but we'll eventually see those snow levels dropping down below 4,000 feet where we could see 6 to 12 inches. And Blue Canyon is one of those spots that could see 12 inches. Portola could see up to 5 inches or so. Half a foot around Truckee. Echo Summit eventually could could see up to 19 inches and we could see up to two feet possible around Kirkwood. Lower elevations, not going to see much in the way of accumulation. So there you have the accumulations coming in the next 24 hours, hours of powers of the global warming goodness as Snohomish County residents brace for more snow as well. We have another system moving into the Pacific Northwest and the full forecast coming up in just a second. Now is your power out and do you live in North Carolina? Well, there is power out. There was over 50,000 without power moments ago, and authorities are now investigating it as a criminal occurrence. And here we are over at Power Outage US where we can see, let's refresh this, 41,700 without power. That just increased a little bit. So if you're in North Carolina, that power outage might be man-made and maybe a criminal activity. Now on to the forecast. Western storm spreads east. A western storm will slowly spread accumulating snow into the intermontane west and the Rockies, while heavy snow persists across the southern Sierra Nevada mountains. Locally, heavy rain will be possible from parts of southeastern Arizona into western New Mexico, and a strong Bering Sea storm will bring an accumulating wintry mix, coastal flooding, and ice shoves to western Alaska. So heads up if you're up in Alaska. Now, let's take a look at the snowfall analysis from the last... 48 hours, you can see up to 30 inches of snow have fallen already in the Sierras and another three or four feet predicted for the northern Sierras. So all in all, could be a pretty significant event. We have some light to moderate snow in the mountains of Colorado and some heavy to moderate snow up in the Cascades. As I said, more is coming. You can see the snow now in the northern Sierras that's going to be moving to the south slightly, but it's going to be increasing well, let's move this back here. There we go. That is the current system on Sunday. And you can see it's going to be dwindling, but the snow will move east through the Cascades, through Idaho, through Montana, through Wyoming, through Monday. That will be their fun day. Into Tuesday, we're going to have some snow in Utah and northern Colorado for Tuesday into Wednesday. As you can see, the system lingers around the four corners, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and we're going to be picking up some. Then the system builds steam here by the end of the week, Thursday into Friday. We could be seeing some severe weather on the East Coast for the end of the work week. Take a look at that. So overall, the accumulation is going to be moderate at best. Here we're looking at the next 100 hours so you can see that snow is going to accumulate through Tuesday in the Sierras and then move into the Four Corners region Wednesday and Thursday. And so your snowfall totals are looking like two to three feet of snow additionally west of Tahoe and some heavy snow in the Colorado Northern Mountains. Now heavy snow is also forecast for Scotland and freezing nights are forecast as the Arctic winds hit the UK. Hey, hey. It's looking like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the temperatures are going to plummet in the UK. And here you see the Thursday snow totals. Snow will be moving all the way down to the southern part of the island there. So snow is coming to the UK and no one's bumming. There'll be some snow in the Alps as well. 
And you can see here the snow totals through December 8th. That's just four days out. So some heavy snow coming to Europe. Heads up. As we move over to the surface conditions on Greenland, you can see yesterday and today we've built eight and nine gigatons of ice, respectively. That is record territory. With all these high spikes, we've got 10 gigatons early in the season, seven, six, six, eight, nine gigatons. This all adds up, and you can see the current surface mass budget for 2022-23 has been in record territory for most of November, and now blasting through for December. This is literally the highest reading of any data in over 43 years. That's the most ice on Greenland in 43 years, and the media is silent. Seismic update. No quakes of note. The mid-ocean ridge here at the Reykjanes Ridge is continuing to rock. This is an ongoing event for months now, and we have some activity over here in western Africa in Gabon, a 5.5, and it turns out that that region is struck often by earthquakes. It's in fact the eighth earth earthquake this year of similar magnitude. So nothing unusual going over here in Gabon. This is a pretty normal activity for the area. Now let's come over to Iceland, and we can see that the Reykjanes Ridge has picked up. A little flurry of activity occurred about 48 hours ago, and the area just to the east of Austria Volcano continues to rumble. So let's go over to the Vatna Yokel, which is this glacier here, and we can see a higher resolution of that seismicity, which is continuing to occur. There's been no uptick, so there's nothing eminent happening, but we have some seismic activity near Grimsvolten and Bartabunga as well. Now, worldwide volcano news update. The big story we know is Indonesia evacuating villagers as Semaru erupts on Java. And it, we have some spectacular footage uh, from all different sources. And we will be able to break down what is happening on the island. Residents are now evacuating as Mount Semaru's highest volcano has erupted. It has covered several villages in ash. Here you can see here that several hundred people were moved to temporary shelters. This is a picture of the Glada Parak Bridge, which was hit by hot smoke and ash from one of the Mount Semeru pyroclastic flows. And if you come over to our Twitter page, at Diamond the Dave, Oppenheimer Ranch Project is at Diamond the Dave. Thank you all for our new followers, almost 75 in the last 24 hours. We have some of that spectacular footage of the pyroclastic flow. This is one of the larger flows coming through this river valley. These flows can be thousands of degrees in temperature, and if you're in the way of them, you literally will be buried. It is like an avalanche of hot gas and ash, um, and it is deadly, these pyroclastic flows. So. According to the tweet, Indonesia's Mount Semeru has explosively erupted, sending pyroclastic density currents or avalanches of extremely hot gas and debris screaming into valleys. We know them as pyroclastic flows. Here is a dramatic time lapse of the eruption. And you're going to see that what you're actually seeing is some pyroclastic flow in a valley there prior to the volcano actually exploding. So, a very large event happening in Java, which is an island in Indonesia. Police have issued the highest warning after a volcano in the east of Java Island erupted, spewing a cloud of ash 15 kilometers into the sky and forcing the evacuation of nearly 2,000 people. There were no immediate reports of any casualties from the eruption of the Semeru volcano, the tallest mountain on the island, which began at 2.46 a.m. on Saturday. A community volunteer in the area told Reuters that most roads have been closed since Sunday morning, while Indonesia's transport ministry said there was no impact on air travel, but notices had been sent to two regional airports for vigilance. Indonesia's Disaster Mitigation Agency said 1,979 people had been moved to 11 shelters and authorities had distributed masks to residents. So we've got 2,000 people being evacuated. Uh, the airport is not closed, apparently. And we may be demonetized for that terrible music. Here you can see that pyroclastic flow moving down one of the valleys very rapidly. Very dangerous situation. 
Uh, they did report that there were no fatalities as of yet, but that will change. This is a devastating eruption, and there were people in harm's way. Here we can see the evacuations taking place. And a man trying to smoke a cigarette through his mask. Yep, he got it right. Most important thing is to run away. And certainly they are running away from Semadu Volcano, which has erupted. There was a 20,000 foot eruption warning just prior to the pyroclastic flow and, and blast out. Um, so there is no report on this particular eruption as of yet up on Volcano Discovery. But we do have the videos coming out from the Twitter. So thank God we do have some areas where we can get real-time data instantly from the other side of the earth, including amazing shots of this pyroclastic flow, which are at Diamond the Dave. Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Twitter, at Diamond the Dave. Check it out. Now let's move over to Mauna Loa. But first, let's take a look at Semaru and say, do we have to worry about this as a big eruptor? No, it, it, it's been erupting continuously for hundreds of years. It never stops erupting, so it never builds up too much uh, steam and ash to create any catastrophic situation on a large scale. There are small-scale catastrophic events, like the pyroclastic flow we just saw, and in fact, the current eruption, which has been ongoing since 2014, till present, is at VEI-4. So that are the facts and the stats on Semaru. Moving over to Mauna Loa and the most recent update coming out a few hours ago. The northeast rift zone eruption at Mauna Loa continues with little change since this morning. There is one main active fissure, fissure number three, and it's feeding a lava flow down slope. Fissure three is generating a lava flow traveling to the north towards Daniel K. Inouye Highway or Saddle Road, and that reached relatively flatter ground and has slowed down significantly over the last few days. As of 1 p.m. today, December 3rd, the flow front was just 2.4 miles from the highway. And during the past 24 hours, the lava advanced at an average of just 40 feet per hour. So it will take weeks to get there, unless there's an outburst. So advanced rates may be highly variable over the coming days and weeks, because on the flat ground between Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea, the lava flow advances slowly, and they spread out and inflate, and individual lobes may advance quickly and then stall. There are also volcanic gas plumes lofting high and vertically into the atmosphere. Sulfur dioxide emission rates of 180,000 tons per day have been measured on December 1st. And Tremor indicates that there is no end to the eruption in sight. And we do have an amazing shot of that Fisher 3 live, care of the USGS in high resolution. So we will link you to the high resolution USGS camera that they have set up. Uh, one of the best feeds on the current eruption. Give them a thumbs up there. Subscribe. They've got some good information going on over there. Now, we also have a map of the current lava flow front. You can see how little it moved in 24 hours, just that red portion. And you can see all of the lava flows from the beginning of the eruption to present. And this is all the extent we had in 24 hours of moving forward. So it's got a long way to go before it hits that highway saddle road. And we'll keep you up to speed with everything you need to know. All the links will be below. Space weather news update. While the sun does have spots on it, the activity is very low into the B range. We do have to worry about this coronal hole. Coronal hole 53 will be facing Earth probably today. Let's look at the latest here, if we can get it. Because I'm pretty sure that hole, nope, no latest. <clears throat> but here is the latest HTMI continuum. And you can see we have some pretty big sunspots on the south there. So we need to keep a close eye on them if activity does ramp up here. And we do have some space weather ramping up. And that's because of some instability, which appears to be happening here in the BZ all of a sudden. And the phi angle is shifting. So we could be getting a large earthquake in the next few hours while this video gets put up. 
And we also have to worry about the plasma speed being quite high at 550 kilometers. It's at 500 kilometers per second. When that coronal hole couples with us, it's going to jump this back up. And that may send us back into geomagnetic storm. The detailed forecast is not recommending any of that. But by December 6th, I think we could be getting up to KP4 or 5. So stay tuned for more updates in case anything changes with the telemetry. Now, a final note here. 1,700 dead seals found on Russian Caspian coast. And this may have everything to do with our waning magnetosphere. This is just a sign of the times. We've had lots of groups of whales beaching, pilot whales, and other creatures that use Earth's magnetic field to navigate. And now we have 1,700 dead seals found on the Russian Caspian coast. In the article, they say it's unclear what caused the animal deaths, but likely natural reasons. Yeah, the magnetic field of Earth, perhaps. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Hope you got something out of the video. Please share this video. We implore you, be a hero. You can also support the work we do on Patreon. Be safe, we love you.